In this video, I'm going to talk about how uh, ACF Pro's flexible content field can be used to create a dynamic uh, page layout in uh, Genesis. Um, this is a test site running on my local host and this is the front page or the home page. And as you can see, it has a fixed header. This has nothing to do with ACF Pro. So the header is always there in place. And here we have one hero section. So uh, in this case, it, the hero section typically has like the background image and some text and it has a button. And below that it has one horizontal section that has an image at the left and some text at the right. And the section below that has text at the left and image at the right. And uh, there are more such uh, sections that have image and text. This is text and image. And finally, this is one more hero uh, section, but uh, without the CTA button. So if you edit this page, uh, you can see that uh, it has some content inside the regular WordPress editor, but we are not showing this content anywhere. Now this page is made up of made up of all these different uh, rows. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and the first is the hero, that is this. So if you expand that, you can see that it currently has a field where you can select or change the image, and below that it has one more text area into which you can type the text. This is the text that's going to appear on top of the page here. And it has a um, checkbox for the CTA button. And if it is checked, it's going to display the URL and the text fields. And these values will be used for uh, this particular button here. <coughs> And then below that there is this, it has the image and text uh, fields or image text row where you can see that the user can select an image and they can enter some text and this text is what is going to appear here. There is also an additional CSS class uh, that you could use if you want to add a CSS class to that particular section. So for example, let's say um, that I want this particular uh, section to have a dark background so I can just give it a class called dark and update the page and if I take a look at the HTML you can see that that section now has an additional class that you have entered in the backend called dark so Currently there is no CSS class, but you could always define your own CSS class. Um, so I'm going to just uncomment that. So you can add a CSS class, you can define your own CSS that will basically put some dark background and change the text color to light. And then there is this is the text image section and we have more such sections and then finally one more hero section this just has the uh, image and the text and it does not have the CTA selected okay so the good thing about flexible content is that it is really flexible you can essentially move these things around by just simply dragging and dropping and you can also click on this minus button to delete and you can also click on this add row to select or add uh, any type of uh, uh, predefined content. So in this case, you can either add an hero section or an image text section or a text image section. So I'll just gonna, I'm just going to click update because I've changed the order of these sections and reload and now you can see that we have the text and the image section at the top and the hero section below that. Okay, so let's just go to one of the inner pages and if you go to inner page where uh, you know nothing has been entered or nothing has been selected 
inside the flexible content uh, meta box then it's just gonna appear normally uh, so if you edit this page and <clears throat> it's gonna uh, show up like this you click on add row you select a hero section and then let's say you want to select that image and you want to enter some text and you want to display a CTA you can enter your URL and then uh, <clears throat> the call to action button text and let's say you want to add one um, text and image so we have some text here I'm gonna set it to H2 I'm, I'm going to select an image here okay let's say now I want an image text section so I'm just gonna quickly copy that and paste here to save some time so update So now it automatically becomes uh, a full width page with several sections, the ones that you have defined in the backend. So it's not just it's just not limited to the front page. You can have set this to any page. And if you go to any of the inner pages, it's gonna look normally. But if you go to a page where you have populated at least one of these uh, uh, layouts, by layout I mean uh, these where we have hero text image image text so if you have selected at least one of those then the web page is going to become full width and it's going to appear like this all right so uh, i'm going to soon post uh, the tutorial with more details about how this is done in the back end how to set up acf pro flexible content field for this and most importantly i'm going to share the page template the PHP code that makes this possible.